What's up, my dudes? <laughs> Welcome back to another modding tutorial. It's Mr. Crayfish, if you're not aware already. And in this tutorial today, I know, I know, I've been doing these quick tutorials, but I kind of wanted to get it out of the way. This will be the last one. I, I can tell you that now. And in this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own crafting or creative tab, I mean. Now, it's getting quite annoying putting in the command saying give player blah 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 item. So this is going to make it a whole lot easier to get kind of access to all your items and uh, for anybody that plays in creative mode. Now, as I always do at the start of these tutorials, if you want to go ahead and support this series, I'll put my Patreon link below. Uh, it's where you can get access to the source code of these tutorials and also um, get an early view of them because they'll be published there before... These, these tutorial videos will be published there before they're actually published to the rest of the YouTube audience. But anyway, let's get into this. This is going to be probably a very quick tutorial, but nonetheless, let's go ahead, go to our uh, tutorial package over here, right click on that, new class, and then we're going to call this um, maybe, let's just call it tutorial tab. You'd probably call it whatever your mod is, so maybe you're doing like a magic magic mod, you'd be like magic tab. And then what we're going to do is make this here extends creative tabs. Highlight over that and then we're going to do add constructor tutorial tab with the string parameter, not the integer, just the string. And then his, this here is going to be the label. Uh, I think we need to add an unimplemented method here. Oh yes, the icon. The icon for the tab. Now we're going to get rid of this constructor here and then it simply replace this here with something like tab tutorial or if you have magic, as I just said, you'll do tab magic. But I'm going to do tab tutorial and then for the tab icon, what we're going to do is we're going to set that to our, hmm, we'll do maybe the cheese slice. So we just need to return an item here. So we're just simply going to call mod items dot cheese. Maybe the cheese and, uh, cheese and cracker. Yeah, the cheese and cracker sounds good. So save that. And then what we're going to do is go back to our tutorial class here or our mod class. Then under our proxy here, we're simply going to do public static, oopsie, public static, maybe final, <laughs> I don't know, tutorial, tutorial tab, and I'm just going to call this tab, uh, actually creative underscore tab equals new tutorial tab. Actually, what we'll do is rename this here to creative tabs import that and boom now how we actually make items go into that tab is we go over to our item classes here so you go to item cracker then inside of the constructor here we simply call set creative tab and then we just call tutorial dot creative tab then we're going to copy that go to each of our classes here set creative tab boom paste that in there boom save and then also for our block here so for the cheese block put that in and then for the jar as well and then uh, everything should be saved what's not saved if it has like this up here where it says the option to save I'll just press save all there and then we're gonna go ahead run the game now and we're actually going to run into a problem you'll see in a second here. But it's easy to fix up. Then we go into our, uh, let's go to creative mode. Go into our creative tabs here. We'll press the right arrow here. And as you can see, we now have our own custom tab. And all of our items and blocks are inside of it now. Now we actually have to fix up this name here. So as you can see, it says item group dot tab tutorial. What we need to do is simply go into our lang um, file here. Then we're going to create, uh, leave a space there. We're going to type in item group dot tab 
tutorial. Now, I'm not sure if we actually have to put dot name. We'll test this out in a second here. Um, and then we'll call this tutorial mod. Now, I don't really have a name for this mod at the moment. I want to call it like cheese and crackers mod, but I'll decide later on. Um, so you do item group dot tab tutorial. So it's basically whatever that says there, copy that in, equals whatever you want it to be called. So I think, let's try F3T, I'm not sure if this does work. Let's check it out, oh okay, it is that, so there we go, <laughs> got it first shot. So there you go, so when you highlight over that it says tutorial mod correctly and has also the correct uh, uh, name here as well. So that's it for this tutorial today, it's something I just wanted to get out of the way quickly before we get onto anything more advanced. That should be the it of these short tutorials and now we shall be moving on to, uh, uh, I'm not sure what the next one's going to be. It's going to be something to do with the jar though. I think that's where we're going to move on to is like working on this jar here and making it be able to have uh, like I, uh, the crackers stored inside of it. But hopefully you enjoyed. Anyway, make sure you go ahead, hit that like button, check out my Patreon if you want to support this series. Um, you get access to a bunch of awesome rewards and a bunch of people have already pledged so far, which is awesome. So thank you to you guys. I might in the next tutorial actually shout you guys out. How about how would you guys like that? I'll shout you guys out if you are a uh, pledger, <laughs> as I'd like to call them. But that's it, I will see you guys for the next tutorial.